Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today is June 20th, 2022. Almost going on midnight here. And uh, basically is June 21st. And we have a lot of information that has come in during the day. And I just want to go over some of the headlines with you. And I want to go over the uh, signs that we are watching for the end of the month. Uh, hopefully, we're looking at rapture before the end of June, between June 29th, June 30th, and July 1st. But together with all of that, we have information that is coming in over the last few days. It uh, seems like an eternity that I haven't been here with you guys. We've had a busy weekend, a couple birthday parties. We had to go to one of our daughters or one of our girls that has uh, been with our uh, in our orphanage uh, many years ago is now married and has children of her own and uh, had a birthday party on Saturday we went to that that was nice and we had a nice Father's Day uh, yesterday and after church my family took me out for dinner and that was nice they invite and I pay right isn't that the way it always goes for dads, <laughs> have a wonderful uh, family, so blessed uh, to be together, united with my family, enjoy a, a wonderful Father's Day together. I hope you guys all had a wonderful day with your families. And um, so here are some of the headlines that we're looking at. Okay, um, tomorrow. And this is a very key piece of information, as we have been seeing from the very beginning of the pandemic. The Bible talks about the dragon coming for the children. And here is this piece of information. Youngest Americans can start getting COVID-19 vaccines on Tuesday, June 21st. Do you think this is a coincidence that this is beginning on the summer solstice? I don't think it's a coincidence. I think we need to understand uh, why they do these rituals on these specific days. Anyway, babies six months to five years old can start getting their vaccines on Tuesday. Uh, not good news. The second piece of information has to do with the Israel government being disbanded. The Knesset has been uh, disbanded. And Bennett says, we did everything we could to save the government. PM, PM ad addresses the nation after announcing end to the 24th Knesset, says Judea and Samaria law and resulting chaos led to decision. Okay, now here is a connection to what we have been watching um, this Judea and Samaria law led to the decision to disband the government. Now, now, we have been watching this because this law here is um, bringing about what could be the final division of Jerusalem, division of Israel, because Jesus, even in, in the book of Acts, when he sent the disciples out to preach the gospel, he said, go to Judea, Samaria, Jerusalem, and to the ends of the earth. So when you talk about Israel, it's not just Jerusalem, but Judea and Samaria were very important, have always been a key part of of what makes up the entirety of Israel. And so if they are looking at a division of Israel and bringing about a law that would cause that Judea and Samaria, the people that live in those lo locations will no longer be under Israeli rule, will no longer have Israeli protection, okay? And as we talked about in this law, they have until July 1st. The cancellation of the law has until July 1st to be reversed. If it is not reversed, Israeli civilian law will not apply to Israeli citizens living in post-1967 Israel. This means no police, no health services, or civilian courts. 
The IDF would handle all legal matters as they control the region. Any Israeli living in Judea, Samaria will no longer have social benefits, will no longer even be considered under Israeli rule, and will not receive any benefits of being uh, Israeli. Okay, so this is a division of Israel, and the the uh, the law has until July first. Now the next piece of information has to do with this week. This is a very important week in the Supreme Court of the United States. The Supreme Court is set for a grand finale: abortion, climate, guns, immigration. America is on edge. And here we have a very important headline. The Supreme Court this week is set up for a grand finale. What could happen? So many things on the table. So many things that could be uh, affected. That could cause revolution. It could cause civil war. It could cause so many things. And here we are with this headline saying that this week, the Supremes are set for a grand finale. What does this mean? Okay, this is what we need to consider. Another piece of information that came out uh, over the day, over the last 24 hours, is that spirals of blue light in New Zealand, night sky leave stargazers kind of freaking out. Okay, kind of freaking out. Now, as soon as I saw this picture and this uh, image, this image and this report, uh, I immediately was reminded of something. And what I was reminded of this spiral, okay, the first thing we see is that it's a spiral of blue light over New Zealand. Now, this is very similar, not exact, but very similar, that over Norway, in the year of 2009, Norway spiral, it was blue, and now we have a blue spiral over New Zealand, okay? Not exact, but similar, same type of title, spiral. Now, in 2009, what was significant about this spiral that happened in Norway was that, the, according to one article, space aliens are welcoming Obama. This was on the eve of Obama's uh, Nobel Peace Prize in Oslo, Norway. Okay, the spiral was over Norway. Norway in and of itself is a relatively small country. So we have the connection to uh, the capital of Norway, Oslo, and we have connection to, to, to Norway, and we have a connection to the very day, the evening before, signaling the arrival of something, and on the very next day, President Obama. Okay, received his Nobel Peace Prize in Oslo, Norway. Well, that happened on December 9th, uh, 2009. And now we have on June 19th, 2022, another spiral that is appearing over New Zealand. Okay, so if you go from Wednesday, December 9th, 2009, to and including Sunday, June 19th, 2022, results in 4,576 days. In the Greek, Strong's Concordance 4576 means to worship. To worship. Now, this to me seems like there is a, it's come full circuit now. We've got the beginning, the arrival of Obama, and now we have the worship of the Antichrist. Full blown worship. Now, just this week in Scandinavia, you know, Norway is Scandinavia, and you've got Norway and you've got Denmark in the same region of the world, Scandinavia. And just this week, in Denmark, Barack Obama was received with a serenade by a girls' choir, and they sang, In Denmark, I Was Born. Okay, is this coming as a form of worship, a reception to Obama, a serenade of Obama in Denmark? 
okay? So we have so many signs, so many things happening, and now we have a connection from one spiral to another, a sign of worship of the Antichrist, the arrival of the fallen angels. So now I want to go over some of the signs we have watched and seen up till now, and I, I just want to remind everybody why. I am focusing on June 29th, June 30th, and July 1st for quite possibly the rapture of the church. And this has to do first and foremost with the sign of Jonah that we saw last year on June 10th and June 11th between the solar eclipse, a man swallowed, swallowed by a whale, and the Ark of Noah being detained in Great Britain. That was the 11th of June. But if we calculate that to the Hebrew calendar, June 11th of 2021 was the first day of Tammuz, and the first day of Tammuz in 2022 is June 30th. This would be the true beginning of summer, the end of the third month and the beginning of the fourth month. The first three months of the Hebrew calendar correspond to the spring, and the second three months between the fourth month of Tammuz, the fifth month of Av, and the sixth month of Elul correspond to the summer months. We have in the Gospels a reminder four different times that there will be a sign of Jonah for a wicked generation. And we have the very important timeline, time frame that Jesus tells us to look for when it connects to the parable of the fig tree now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves ye know that summer is nigh so likewise ye when ye shall see all these things know that it is near even at the doors and this same exact phrase is repeated in three different gospels matthew 24 32 mark 13 28 luke 21 30 now learn this parable from the fig tree when its branch has already become tender and put forth leaves you know that summer is near and in luke 21 30 it says when they are already budding you see and know for yourselves that summer is now near now is this not part of the parable of the fig tree and the timing that jesus told us to look for the beginning of summer summer being near is a very important sign within the chapters when Jesus talks about the signs of his coming, he tells us to look for the arrival of summer. Confirmation from Jewish websites that Tammuz is the beginning of the season of the summer. There are three months of this season, Tammuz, Av, and Elul. Okay, and this month marks the beginning of the destruction of the Holy Temple in Jerusalem, the siege of Jerusalem, the uh, the the the, uh, the summer months were the attacks on the temples. Okay, and so very important time that throughout history in Israel, most of their disasters have come during these summer months and this may very well be connected to the reason why Jesus tells us to look for the arrival of summer. Now connected to this we have a seven-year warning exactly to the day from the star of Bethlehem on June 30th 2015. Just to let everybody know the importance of this if you go between the two lunar eclipses in uh, 2015, the Tetrad, from the Passover to the Tabernacles lunar eclipse, the exact middle day was the Star of Bethlehem conjunction between Jupiter and Venus on June 30th, 2015. So if, if we're going to form a menorah in the signs of 2015, the Star of Bethlehem is the Shem Shamash. It's the master candle that lights all the others, okay? So it's this exact day in the middle of 2015. Not only that, if we consider very carefully between June 30th and June and July 1st, it's also the exact middle of the year, okay? July, uh, 30, July 1st 
is the exact middle day of the year, okay? And so we have a very important in the middle of the week, and we have a sign that is in the middle of the year and also in the middle exactly of the two uh, lunar eclipses. This is a seven-year warning from the star of Bethlehem. And I mentioned this together with the arrival of the vaccines for the children. Revelation 12, 4 and 5. The dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. She brought forth a man child who was, to, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. Okay, and so this, this Bible verse talks about the devouring of the children, and at the same time, the child was caught up and unto God and to his throne. So I don't necessarily expect that the, the rapture may happen on the exact first day it could. And now this is, the, this is the importance of this summer. Okay, on the Gentile calendar, I mean, if you consider the arrival of summer, okay, and if you consider the first vaccination for the children on the first day of summer, I mean, we have a serious window that is opening tomorrow. Very serious window that could be the final step to the rapture of the church. And this is what we don't know. This is what we have to watch for. But this is what I am seeing, this, this very important critical step. I've talked about this from the very beginning. When they come for the children... God is going to be coming for us, okay? So they're coming for the children. This is the beginning of summer. Now, this is on the Gregorian calendar uh, in the Western world. The, the summer begins at the solstice, June 21st, June 22nd. But if we're looking at, the, at Israel as the time clock, then we would look at June 30th and July 1st, okay? So this is, this is a very important time. Starting tomorrow through the end of June and through July 1st, okay? The beginning of the vaccinations of the children and of the babies, especially those from six months old to five years old. Now, the other thing that we need to consider with all of this, especially as we're watching exactly June 29th, June 30th, and July 1st, will rapture occur during the planetary alignment that is taking place right now this alignment is still in place it will be in place until the end of june they're actually saying that the best day of the alignment is not even until june 24th which would be the moon in between the two brightest planets jupiter and venus on june 24th so there's so many people that were looking at this on june 14th june 15th but that was the beginning, really the beginning of this alignment. The alignment continues through the end of the month, okay? So do not give up just because uh, rapture did not occur as many were looking um, during the, uh, the beginning of this alignment on June 15th and June 14th, okay? This alignment continues through the end of the month. And as June ends, the alignment will disappear. Mercury is going to be out of this alignment starting basically on June 30th or July 1st. The orbit of Mercury is going to take Mercury back into the, the closeness with the sun and it's not going to be visible again as part of this alignment. So this alignment is going to disappear. Okay, is that the connection to the rapture of the church? and the people of God disappearing, and Mercury being the messenger planet disappearing? Is that the message that God is giving to us connected to this uh, planetary alignment that just at the end of June it will, will end, okay? So this planetary alignment continues and, and is still visible until the end of June. The other piece of information that I had shared with you is that the last time this alignment was seen where five planets were visible all at once was December of 2004. Now, it was on this day that the Indian Ocean tsunami took place on December 26, 2004. And one week later, 
was the arrival of Barack Obama, and he was he began as the United States Senator on January third, two thousand five. Okay, now even within this alignment, look at this. Look at the way this is all set up here. We've got the best day of the alignment. Everyone is saying that the best day of this alignment is June twenty fourth, and then one week later is the end of the alignment. Okay, on June thirtieth and July first. Well, we have the same type of situation where on December 26, 2004, we had this Indian Ocean tsunami. And then seven days later, with the arrival of Barack Obama. Okay. Now, all of this is connected to the end of the, the alignment on June 30th, which is also the one-year anniversary on the Hebrew calendar of the sign of Jonah on June 30th. Okay, so this is these are very important pieces of information leading us to this time. And remember, I had even shared with you that July 1st on the Mayan calendar, the long count date is 13 0 9 11 19. This is the long count date on the Mayan calendar. We've got 9 1 1 and 911 in reverse and it's all connected to 13 which is the number of lawlessness. So that is my report for today. I just wanted to let everybody know there are a number of things happening right now that we need to be considering over the next couple days, very important pieces of information and I also wanted to let everybody know why we are very very hopeful. We remain very vigilant looking for the rapture anytime now starting tomorrow basically from june 21st all the way through the end of the month through july 1st so in the blink of an eye any moment now we have so many things that just are saying that we are arriving we are arriving now at this time i do believe and all we can do is watch and that's what I'm doing and we don't know, you know, I'm, I'm not saying that rapture has to happen by the end of June or by July 1st. I'm saying it's very possible. I'm saying there's so many things that are pointing to this time. Uh, it gets the closer we get, the more signs, the more powerful the signs seem to be. And uh, so I'm just fulfilling my duty in bringing the signs to everybody's attention and giving you the, the reason why they are connected to specific time frames. Jesus said, when you see all these things, you know, summer is near. Okay, so I'm watching the beginning of summer in Israel, the first day of Tammuz, between June 30th and July 1st, 2022. I pray everyone is blessed. Have a wonderful evening, a wonderful day tomorrow. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.